nervous system. Tasting and smelling and seeing and hearing, thinking, moving, dreaming, breathing, heart beating, running, feeling pain or pleasure, laughing, sleeping, singing, remembering. You couldn't do any of these things without your nervous system. That's me. Hello, this is the nervous system. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I just want to know more about the brain or the nervous system. So, what is the nervous system made of? The nervous system is made up of the brain. The brain is a jelly-like substance. It manages the body and yet weighs a teeny weeny one and a half kilos or just three pounds. The spinal cord. The nerves of your body. The brain communicates with the rest of the body through the spinal cord and the nerves. They tell the brain what is going on in the body at all times. This system also gives instructions to all parts of the body about what to do and when to do it. It is called the nervous system because it is made up of billions of nerve cells that can be found in the brain which is the control center of the nervous system. Your brain is divided into two sides. The left side of your brain controls the right side of your body and the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body. Let's take a look at some of the important parts of the brain. The cerebrum. The biggest part of the brain is the cerebrum. The cerebrum makes up 85% of the brain's weight and it's easy to see why. The cerebrum is the thinking part of the brain and it controls your voluntary muscles, the ones that move when you want them to. So, you can't dance or speak or play soccer without your cerebrum. The cerebellum. Next up is the cerebellum. The cerebellum is at the back of the brain, below the cerebrum. It's a lot smaller than the cerebrum. But it's a very important part of the brain. It controls balance, movement and coordination. Because of your cerebellum, you can stand up straight, keep your balance and move around. The thalamus. The thalamus carries message from your sensory organs. When you smell the yummy curry or paneer tikka, that's the time thalamus works. The brain stem controls breathing, heartbeat and digestion. It also connects the rest of the brain to the spinal cord. So the brain is the boss, but it can't do it alone. It needs some nerves, actually a lot of them. And it needs the spinal cord, which is a long bundle of nerves inside your spinal column that the vertebrae protect it. It's the spinal cord and nerves that let messages flow back and forth and back and forth between the brain and the body. Ouch! That hurts! Brain is the boss. So what can you do for your brain? Well, that is lots of things for you to do. First, eat really healthy foods that contain potassium and calcium. These two minerals are very important for the nervous system. Exercise. Get a lot of playtime. Use good protection. Wear a helmet when you ride your bike or play other sports that require head protection. Don't drink alcohol or take drugs or use tobacco. And most important, use your brain. Use your brain by doing challenging activities. 
such as puzzles and reading and playing music and making art or anything else that gives your brain a workout.